Now this story is coming from Luke chapter 2. It's the it's the story of the birth of Jesus. Now Caesar Augustus, he was the Roman emperor. He issued a decree of the entire Roman world. This happened during the um, when Quirinius was governor in Syria. And everybody had to return to their um, towns of ancestral birth. And so Joseph, he had to go from Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem in Judea, the town of David, because he was from the house and line of David. Uh, he brought Mary with him, to whom he was pledged to be married, and she was expecting a child. And while they were there in Bethlehem, she gave birth to a son, her firstborn, and she wrapped him in cloth and she laid him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Now outside of Bethlehem in the fields, there were shepherds who were watching over their flocks at night and an angel of God appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone all around them and they were terrified and the angel said, do not be afraid, I bring you a good news of great joy for all people today in the town of David uh, has a Savior has been born who is Christ the Lord and you will find him um, wrapped in cloth and laying in a manger and then a whole company of the heavenly host appeared praising God saying glory to God in the highest and peace on earth on those on whom God's favor rests then the angels returned to heaven and the shepherd said let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that the Lord has told us about they went and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. And they spread the news uh, that they had been told about the child by the angels and everyone who heard it was amazed. Now Mary treasured these things up, pondered them in her heart. And the angels returned to their fields, praising God and glorifying God for all that they had seen and heard. And this is the story of the birth of Jesus from Luke chapter 2.